Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play FTL Fashion Light. I'm Nye, and it looks like I'm gonna be flying solo this game. I'll uh, keep doing the same thing we did last time, gonna be flying with the Shivan. And uh, once again, you know, going after our uh, main missing achievements. So for the Shivan, of course, we do need to pick up uh, the Crystal Crew Member and get the Crystal Ship. I mean, it's essentially, we only need to get to the Crystal uh, Sector, but if you're getting there anyways, you might as well pick up the Crystal si Ship, because it's right there. Uh, in addition to that, we need to, uh, one of them is kill every, um, kill four people with a boarding drone. Somehow I don't think it's actually going to happen on this ship. The second is have every square inch of the enemy ship set on fire. And the third one is to, uh, use a weapon pre-igniter, uh, and destroy an enemy ship in one volley. So, of course, we are, uh, attempting to make all of these happen. What I'm also gonna do uh, is something I actually haven't been doing, and I sort of, I was driving home and I kind of realized I, there's a tactic I have not been using. And uh, namely, every so often we have these encounters with uh, mercenaries, and they offer to either scout the sector for us or to slow down the rebels for a set number of scrap. And I've been basically ignoring these events in favor of destroying them to get the scrap they offer. And I think I'm doing the wrong thing there in some cases. Uh, especially when we're trying to find, say, the Crystal Crew Ember. We're looking for distress beacons. Or uh, if I finally hit the... Uh, let's see what do we have here. Or if I have finally hit, uh, you know, um, uh, the Zoltan Sector and I'm trying to find myself a, uh... Awesome, that missed. That's, that's fantastic. Uh, I'm in the Crystal Crew... Uh, crystals, I mean, not Crystal Sector. The uh, Zoltan Sector, and I'm trying to find the uh, Zoltan... Um, uh, research, facility, research facility. Uh, and I, you know, using that mercenary will tell me exactly what I'm looking for. It'll show me that missing... Uh, that spot that has no beacon there, and I can kind of know, okay, I need to aim for these spots around here. Uh, so I think I need to use those more often. There's also an event that happens every so often. It's a little bit rarer for us to see this one, but there's an event that happens every so often where we find it's a distress beacon or something like that, and we save a ship only to find that ship is a reb that ship is a rebel ship. Oh, awesome. Okay. Uh, we need to capture this enemy ship, but we need to not destroy it. Okay, I can deal with that. Uh, that's going to be up in the upper right hand corner. Uh, let's go ahead and start heading that direction. But there'll be this, there'll be save an enemy ship, or save this other ship, and it turns out that the ship we're trying to save uh, is a rebel ship. Uh, and I've been frequently destroying the rebel ship to get the scrap. See, this is the mercenary I was talking about. Uh, I think we'll spend 12 scrap to delay the rebels. So that should slow them down a considerable amount, give me a little bit more time to jump among areas. But uh, I've been destroying that rebel sh that rebel ship uh, every so often. Nope, no beams that I'm interested in. Uh, well, I don't know how long this lasts. I've been uh, destroying that rebel ship because it gives us scrap, but we can also uh, leverage it into... Um, oh, crap, our shields are offline. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, 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 bad. Come on, fire faster. I'm destroying that rebel ship in favor of getting all of the... Um, uh, word I am looking for. All the scrap I can be getting out of it. Uh, we can also spare their lives in order to get them to uh, like slow down the rebels for us. I think I might use that option a little bit more often. Because I'm just thinking there, if we slow down the rebels, we can make more jumps. And that means more scrap in the first place. And it also means higher chance of getting the crystal crew member. So I think we should be focusing on that. It's just something I haven't been doing myself. Okay, so it looks like doing the mercenary thing gives us about two jumps worth of time uh, to fight in. <coughs> Which is actually pretty nice. So we're going to go ahead and work on this energy fighter here. Probably should turn auto fire on. Well, that bomb's... Oh, that's not good. You get in there. Help him with that bomb. That's definitely not good. It's a pretty bad start, to be honest. I have had much better starts to the game than this. Okay, that bomb missed, thankfully. Okay, you get up here, go fix that. Yeah, we're gonna 
basically be taking a pounding here. I just did not get the scrap I needed. This is the whole problem about using uh, scrap to uh, pay off that mercenary. I I'm behind on the scrap where I should be right now, uh, which is just not good. And I am missing shot after shot after shot, which is causing some major issues. My shields are now completely offline, and there's still fire spreading. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to do something against these guys, and we should be able to get our shields back online. Or not. They'll just completely disable those. Looks like this is going to be another one of those runs. And there we, again, miss another shot. Uh, I think we've missed about half the shots we've fired. And there's a fire going somewhere inside this ship. I'm not quite sure where. Yeah, they are repeatedly taking that down my shields, when that's really the only thing I need to keep myself alive. Luckily, one of their weapons is offline. And another of their weapons is offline. They're offering me stuff I'm not going to accept, but the other thing I should be doing is I should be accepting Surrender a lot more often than I am. Uh, I think the only reason I haven't been accepting Surrender is just because you don't get as much. Uh, what I really need to do is to focus on um, accepting a Surrender uh, when... Uh, where I don't know where that fire is. I need to focus on accepting Surrender uh, when there's a good deal of rewards out of it. So, what? You go in there. Did I, did I just forget to let her finish? Yeah, I need to uh, focus on allowing or accepting surrender when um, there's a fair amount of reward. So if we're talking a very large amount of uh, a very large amount of missiles or something like that, uh, I need to really focus on that. Let's get you in here to put out that fire real quick. I'm not really worried about this fire so much, because there's nothing in that wing of the ship, but it could spread to a place where I don't want it to go. Okay. Let's have you go back here. Actually, you're this person. You're this person. Let's get our guy back in the uh, cockpit, and then we can jump to the quest marker. Okay, remember, I've got to kill these guys. Oh, crap. I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I've got to kill this crew without destroying the ship. Now, what I was supposed to do, and I completely forgot about doing it, was get my sensors up to level 2 so I could see where the crew was. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is actually... Uh, yeah, I'm going to hit... Um, come on, shields, come back up. Yes! Okay, we're good. Pop that in there. And probably pop a second one in there, too. Uh, just for the sake of getting that done. And then that should take them out uh, pretty efficiently. I'm hoping for two spots of fire, to be honest. Uh, but uh, we're not, I mean, we're not using too much, um, we're not using too much here uh, in the way of uh, missiles. I think what I might do is switch over to Heavy Pierce. Oh, damn it, I fired that off the wrong time. I think I might switch over to Heavy Pierce and destroy their O2. There we go. And then I'll let them start working on the O2, and as they do that, then I'll drop another fire bomb into there, and that really should take care of it. Uh, then they're going to have to deal with fire and, uh... Actually, I'll drop it... Yeah, in the O2. Good, okay. So hopefully that fire will spread. I'm going to drop another one in the engine room. Yeah, I'm using a lot of missiles for this, but, uh, you know, we really want to take this thing without, uh... without... doing real much damage to the ship. And that should give me a good amount of uh, reward for the effort I'm making. Actually, just gonna drop this right here. Could drop it into the O2 room, because they're gonna be working that, obviously, but they have no oxygen. So, there we go. Okay, so they're gonna have to go into that room to fix that fire. That should fix that problem right there. Uh, I'm trying to decide, do I want to fire another one? Yeah, I kind of do. This is what the sensors would be really useful for, just to know exactly where they are at any given time. There goes one of their men. The other one is working back here on the engines right now. But uh, I don't think it's going to work particularly well. Fire spreading among their ship. As long as I do not fire anything more at them, uh, they're, that guy's going to be hosed. It's only it got, It's got to be one guy left in there. So as long as I do not fire my heavy pierce at them, we're just going to wait and just wait them out. I kind of want to fire a firebomb at their missiles, but I know that's a terrible idea. Awesome! So they gave us 20 scrap, which is good, and a hull smasher laser mark 2, which is better. So we're going to go ahead and uh, power that. We're also going to get ourselves our level 2 shields. I can't actually power the shields yet, but uh, I 
you know, I can have them, which is good. Nothing in range here. Let's go ahead and jump to that uh, nebula right here. Should give us some time to get maybe a jump and a half. We just got boarded. Uh, enemies jumping into our weapons bay. Let's get him out of there real quick. Uh, let's get everybody into here real quick. They're going to do a little bit of damage. Okay, everybody inside. There we go. Okay, so now we got a fight worth having. And this one is a fight we're going to win. This guy I'm a little bit worried about, though. Looks like he might win the fight. Okay, let's get him out of there real quick. Okay. And now we're, we, have, we have won the fight. Uh, we are, you know, we're all good. Unfortunately, you know, ends up being a complete waste of a, uh, waste of a jump. Just because we, we got nothing out of it. We didn't get any scrap, uh, and that's what I was hoping for, really, was the scrap. But, uh, didn't end up happening. <laughs> Kinda sucks. Okay, let's see what we got here. You get back on weapons. You get back on shields. You get back on engines. You go heal up a little bit, because you got a little bit of damage. Awesome. Okay. I have enough time to hit this distress beacon. Hopefully it's going to be something a rock gives me a blue option for. It's giant alien spiders. We're just going to ignore those. And jump to the exit. So, not really a good first uh, sector at all. Not going to do that either. I didn't really get anything useful. Let's go to the, I guess, the Zoltan controlled sector. Didn't really get anything useful. Uh, didn't get a lot of scrap. Now, I did get the whole sla Smasher Laser Mark II. I'm aware of that. Uh, but, uh... You know, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let's go ahead and pop one of those there and get up to level 2 shields. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this thing to the punch when it comes to that uh, missile launcher. Almost beat it. Took a little bit of damage anyways. Uh, luckily, only one point of damage, so I'm not going to have to wait for my Heavy Pierce to come back online. Okay, so their missiles are offline. Actually, you go help with that. And for now, I'm just going to leave the Heavy Pierce going, because there's not a lot of point to switching to the whole laser. It fires a lot slower, which is part of the problem here. Come on, Heavy Pierce, let's go. Okay, you get out of that room and go help in that room. Okay. So that time we got a decent amount of fuel and scrap. Fuel was the one I was actually uh, particularly worried about, which, honestly, you could see my fuel. I was down to four. Uh, so it's understandable why I would feel a little bit worried. Okay, now we can start running around. Oh, God. <laughs> it's always these guys. It's always these guys. Okay, I'm gonna remove points from oxygen, put it in uh, med bay. See if we can let our whole smasher laser basically do all the work here. Uh, let's get you in there too. It'll make life a little bit easier. Actually, nope, you know what? We don't need them. You can go do your thing. Okay, whole laser. I'm gonna leave that an auto fire for now. Okay, you can go back to your job. We are almost at a point where I feel good about this. Good, okay. Remove hole laser, move to pierce. Put points back into O2. And now we should be pretty good to go. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do is take out, they can't take out my, uh, yeah. They can't take out my shields. So I'm just gonna switch over to hole laser now. We're just gonna, we're just gonna wreck these guys. See, this is the type of ship where if I was running, say, this with a, um, uh, b -b 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 weapon pre igniter. This might be able to actually do it to get that achievement if I had enough points into, uh, you know, power and everything like that. Okay, let's put another point into power. Okay, now that I can have everything powered, let's go to this distress beacon. Cheers. I'll take two fuel, two missiles, and 14 scrap, and I will be right back. And back. Okay, let's go ahead and, um,. I got 36 points. I'm going to put that into sensors because we are finding... Damn. We're finding more and more that sensors are very, very useful, especially when we have something like a firebomb. Let's go ahead and jump to this beacon. 
Okay, so we're looking for a distress beacon. I'm pretty sure it can uh, spawn in Zoltan space. We did get advanced FTL navigation, uh, which uh, is pretty nice, all told. Uh, I really want to get a map of the entire place. Okay, let's go ahead. Actually, no, hole laser is what we want. Okay, let's go ahead and use that on their shields. Now, this ship kind of concerns me uh, because it has that ion blast. Well, this is going less than poorly. Okay, let's see. Um, let's get you in here. That ion blast is annoying, but that missile launcher is more so. Okay. I'll smash your laser to there. You get up here and fix that. Unfortunately, our... Whoa! Go fix that. The rate of a of hit on these missiles right now. I know I only have a 20% chance to evade, but this is getting kind of ridiculous. And unfortunately, my hull smasher laser just does not have the ability to do anything to them right now. Uh, my shields are completely offline. Up, oh, come on! I just fixed that. Okay, come on, shields, come back online for me. Okay, their shields are offline, which is good. Uh, come on, my shields are online. Leave me the hell alone. What is wrong with you? Okay, that's gonna hit. I'm taking a massive amount of damage, and this is just really obnoxious. Are you done? There goes a hull breach. Ugh. With a hull smasher laser right now, if I if I lose at this point, I'm it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be dreadful, just because of. Come on, fix that, fix that. Okay, you go heal, and then we'll go and we'll fix, um... Okay. Just one more hit's all that is required. You go over here. Okay. Yeah, if I were to die right there, I would have been very upset. Okay, let's go ahead and pull a point out of there, put it into there. I have 48 scrap. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to save that for, uh... Um. Oh, good, Mantis. Okay, where are they teleporting into? They're teleporting into my O2 as usual. You two, go fix that problem. Let's see, we're gonna take the whole Smasher laser. Actually, no. Yeah, because it's already half-charged. Uh, let's take that and let's attack their uh, weapons. Now, it's not gonna be a fight we're necessarily gonna win. Of course, simply because, um... Let's get you in here. Need to get those two healed. Let's get you in here for a minute, so that way we can stop them from attacking too hard. Oh, no! Damn! I overestimated. But yeah, I overestimated how much health she had left. It's okay. I still have four crew members. Uh, I don't have anybody to do dedicated healing, of course, but I still have four crew members, which is good. And these guys are teleporting out, which is awesome. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, their weapons are offline. I'm going to take their shields offline right now. Uh, you are my shields, dude. You are my engines, dude. Go do your things. Okay, so I took care of one of their, uh, mantis, uh, mantis eye, mantises. Mantis thing. One of them's dead. Now, their weapons are now completely online, but their ship is now completely offline. Okay, so I got 23 scrap from that. So, if I find a store, I have enough scrap to get myself healed up, but not much more than that. Another AI, and this one, uh, you're, chef, you're gotta be kidding me. We're, uh, we're simply not equipped for this sort of thing. Probably should have healed up at that last, uh, last way station. So what we're w basically waiting on right now is simply to get the whole laser mark two into his shield. So I need three direct hits. 
And I'm just not getting them. I have about a 66% accuracy rating right now against this ship. And I'm really concerned about potentially taking damage. Because we only have about 9 HP left, and that's not good. Uh, we're actually... Ow, oh, okay, and here comes the damage. It would be really good to have that additional crew member right now to help heal stuff up. Come on, shields up. Come on. Let's get a hit. And that's a miss. Definitely not a uh, good ship right now, I can tell you that much. This ship is not doing what I needed to do. Come on. There we go. That's a hit. That's a hit. It's a very palpable hit. Okay, can we do it again? All I need is two things to hit now. Two things to hit, and we can actually turn this fight around. I have six HP left, so I'm going to need a really good set of hits here. Ooh, that shield came up back on line just in time. Okay, Hole Smasher Laser. Come on. Do it. Excellent. Okay. Well, we have won this fight. Uh, not handily. No, not at all. This was actually a very, very bad fight for me. Okay, come on. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. It's got nothing. I mean, it, there's nothing on this ship left. All I need is for one more hit to land. Of course, I'm going to miss the next three shots. Nope, they all hit. Okay. Prove me wrong, game. I just got to remember to do that more often. Okay, do I have a shop? No. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, of course. Of course. Okay. Do I want the fuel supply or do I want the ammunition? I want the fuel supply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the hull smasher and instead put that point to the heavy pierce. And two points into shields. The heavy pierce will allow me to take out their weapons. And this is actually where the Sheevan's going to shine because of that heavy pierce. That's going to allow me to do uh, some pretty strong damage to him without having to really worry about taking damage myself. Now, depending on what that bomb does, that could be concerning. Let's go ahead and take out his shields real quick because I'm concerned he may have uh, level 2 shields at max. Now, I might be wrong. But uh, I didn't want to uh, take the risk there. Let's go ahead and pop that heavy pierce into his weapons. Awesome. One more shot will do it, and we are going to get ourselves a bunch of fuel and some uh, and some scrap. And at this point, I'm probably going to end up upgrading my engines pretty quickly here. Excellent. Only one fuel? Really, game? Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade our engines. Okay, I need one more jump. I need one more free and clear jump here. So let's go ahead and put these points into where they belong. Um, but yes, one more free and clear jump. Okay, so we did not find the uh, crystal stasis pod at, in this sector, which is a pretty good indication that I'm not going to find it. Uh, actually, it's a very good indication. There's no possible way for me to get the... the uh, Saves this pod and hit the Rock Home Worlds because Rock Home Worlds apparently don't exist on this uh, map. So, off to plan B. Let's see. Let's. So, I. What I really want to see is ships' data stores events happen more often because that's actually an event I like. Now, I need this to happen during a. You know, Zoltan area or something like that. An area where I could actually potentially get the crystal crew member. Now, I'm lucky that I did not get hit by that. Or by everything there, because I would have taken some damage. Uh, but it looks like... Okay, you know what? I'm going to focus on his... Uh... Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, so it took a little bit of damage, but I should be fine. Unfortunately, I did not completely take out his cloaking device. So that's going to be... Uh, step one is going to be taking out his cloaking device. Luckily, I dodged that. Let's take out that cloaking device. Come on. Of course not. Okay. How about his shields? Can we take out his shields? Okay, just waiting for our shields to come back online. I really do hate that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> waiting for him to come back out of uh, cloaking. And we did miss the shot that we needed to collide, so we're going to wait. Frustrating and partially boring, too. Not really fun to just sort of sit around here watching him and going, Will I hit? No. 
my inability to hit people with my gun is just staggering. And then not only is the, you know, lack of accuracy a problem, but also the whole he's go he's go he's cloaking. He's cloaking. So I've got to wait to, for him to come back out so I can fire again. I get like one volley per cloak. And his cloaking device is actually completely healed again. And we're still waiting for this to hit. I'm sure if Trance was here, he'd be recommending that I just skip this one. But it's one of those, I can beat him, I just need to get a single hit in. But that's not likely going to happen. Okay. Come on. Come on, let's do it. Just need to get one hit. Just one. One is all I need. Single. Singular. Uno. Nope. Well, I got one hit. But I'm talking about game. I want one hit on the hull. This Specifically the hull. I want one hit on his shields. That's what I want. Can I have that? Please? Pretty pretty please? Sugar on top? Please? Thank you. Okay, Heavy Pierce, can you finish the job? Hopefully, maybe, possibly. Hit. Miss. His shields are going to be fixed by the time I get to shoot again. Watch. This is taking forever. Fire. Hit. No. The, the, the sheer lack of accuracy. I swear to God, these guns have accuracy stats. Oh, you've got... Come on! My Heavy Pierce shot one of his shots out of the sky, which means I get to wait for another round before I'm actually able to shoot him again. This is demoralizing! This is horrible! On the plus side, my guys are getting uh, experience. Okay. Okay, so now his shields are down. We're almost done here. Come on, hole laser. Hit, please. Mm. Ridiculous. Ow. And he does take out my weapons, which means we have to wait for another cycle, and the hole laser will actually be completely... Uh, uncharge, so I gotta completely recharge it. Wasn't it about to fire? It boggles the mind. Okay, hole laser, can you hit, please? I just need three hits. That's all I need. I just need one hit. That's all I need. I just need one hit. That's all I need. Thank you. Okay, so we got some stuff. I'm down to two HP. Uh, and there's not a store in sight. So we have to hope, ladies and gentlemen. We have to hope that this is going to go well. Otherwise, this will be a 30-minute episode. Which, I mean, it's still long. but Okay, let's go fix this thing over here. More because I just, I don't like to see red on my ship than it actually being important to fix that. We're going to go ahead and jump. Okay, what did I find? Uh, it's a Mantis Scout. They do not have teleporters. Okay, you go ahead and get back on shields. You go get back on engines. That, that weapon right there concerns me. Now, luckily, they'll have to time everything perfectly to actually do any damage. Uh, then again, so will I, so. Come on, let's see it. Definitely concerned about that laser. Luckily, these guys do not have a cloaking device, so I don't, ha I don't have that really annoying, oh dear god, please do not let it hit me feeling. I also don't have that whole... You know, oh, please let everything hit, otherwise I'm boned. Uh, what I did just notice, unfortunately, is that they have an NG. 
Uh, and what that means is that this is going to take a very long time because the NG is just going to fix that, uh, fix, uh, the NG is just going to fix the shields every single time I hit it, uh, which is unfortunate. So what my hope is, is to hit the cockpit and force the, uh, force the Mantis to fix the cockpit. What they'll also do is, uh, it'll give me a, uh, higher chance of hitting. I have to hit first. Wow, this is annoying. The sheer inability to do any damage. There we go. Okay. And we dealt... We got, we got them with a hull breach, but it's not going to last very long. I have basically one shot with the hull laser. Nope, not even that. And they actually got my ship. Okay, guys. Well, that was a really disappointing run. You know... Yeah, that's, I mean, that's all I can say. That was a really disappointing run. Uh, we will see you guys next time.